Hey guys, this is Dr. B here. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about the importance of getting out in nature and how that is especially important for your kids going back to school. So depending on um, their age and their their school board, um, they may or may not have to wear a mask at school. Um, but many kids are having to wear masks even out and about. And what we do know is when you wear a mask, it does decrease the amount of oxygen that gets into your body. So that makes it all the more important to get out and get fresh air. So um, we were told that as kids and as generations before us, get out and get fresh air. So that's one of the, the, health, um, the health rules that has been passed down and it has, it has its um, efficacy in science as well. So recently there was a systematic review so a review of all the literature out there um, to go through the importance of getting out in nature. So especially for kids, it had a focus on how kids can improve in terms of their health outcomes when they're either close to nature or getting out in nature um, on a frequent basis. So um, in terms of the health benefits, uh, kids who grew up around a park or got out into nature with hikes and walks uh, more frequently had a decrease in blood pressure. Um, there was also a decrease in respiratory illnesses. So the rate of respiratory illnesses like asthma um, were, were seen in kids who, who had more outdoor time. Um, they also had healthier weight and, uh, and BMI. So when you're out in nature, you're exercising, you're moving. Um, so likely when kids are closer to that and uh, that's emphasized, their weight is, is uh, more under control as well. Um, and then in terms of um, behavioral, there's also a, a strong correlation between um, improved behavioral outcomes and getting out in nature. So those who, who got out more often uh, saw a decrease in behavioral disorders like ADD, ADHD, and especially playing in open spaces. So open lawns um, tended to have the best results in terms of um, redu reducing the um, ADD and ADHD kind of disorders. Um, and then also there was a marked decrease in 15 out of 24 of the main mental health disorders. So uh, that's huge. So just getting out into nature on a regular basis can, can improve your mental health by that degree. And in kids, especially as we're seeing kids, the rate of childhood depression going through the roof, depression was actually the, the one that was most strongly correlated um, um, with outdoor time. So the more outdoor time someone got, the less the rates were for depression. So it was a negative correlation. So, um, and then not to mention, um, we have an improved creativity. So when, when kids are outdoors, naturally they're going to be interacting with their environment and that creativity is going to be fostered as they use their imaginations to build build forts um, to to kind of imagine themselves out in the forest in in like imaginary lands and um, that's very important for for their cognitive and neurological development for them to use that imagination and be creative and not only that that creativity is also going to help um, help them perform better in school because they're using their brain, they're developing, develop, developing it more um, rather than being on a screen. So um, all these things are super important for, for your kids and why getting out in nature is going to be one of the best things you can do for your kids this, uh, this fall.